What's up, Meg Heads? Welcome to another Meg Encounter story. Now, this is a series of videos I'm doing leading up to the release of the Meg in August this year. Now, today's video is not a encounter story of a Meg, but it is a shark video, which I'll, I'm pretty sure you guys will find quite interesting, as I did when I first came across this back in 2013. It's about a great white shark that was chased and devoured by some type of super predator in Australia. Now there is a documentary video which I think aired during Shark Week last year in the US. It's called The Search for Ocean Super Predators. It goes for about 50 minutes. It's a really, really cool um, video. Uh, so it's about the shark and what could have uh, eaten it. Now I've got a link of in the description bar down below. I've got the link to this uh, video. So go check it, check it out. I've also got some other links to some news articles about uh, about uh, th this story and what happened so go have a read of those as well so back in 2003 a female three meter great white shark was tagged off of uh, Bremer Bay in Western Australia and then four months later the uh, tag was found washed ashore uh, the information that was downloaded from this tag indicated that uh, from the day it was tagged uh, it uh, it's it was tracked all the way up to Exmouth on the Western Australian coast, uh, all the way back down to Bremer Bay Canyon on Christmas Eve, and that's where some of the information started to come uh, really exciting. Indicated that the shark took a, um, a deep dive um, around about uh, 500 metres. Uh, then there was a huge uh, temperature change. It went from 46 degrees Fahrenheit to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. It stayed like, like that for the next... Uh, eight days where the device was actually tracked about 300 uh, feet below the surface so indicated uh, whatever devoured the shark was still swimming around uh, with the device in its uh, stomach for the next eight days before it was released and found washed ashore which is really really interesting so what could have eaten this three meter great white shark who knows what's lurking out there now, before I go on with that, we know that uh, killer whales actually frequent this area. It's a, uh, a very uh, active site of all different types of species of animals, killer whales, uh, sperm whales. There's even uh, indication of giant squid out there. Now, we know that killer whales do uh, hunt uh, great white sharks, but uh, going by the information uh, from this uh, tag, indicated that this shark was actually chased uh, down to 500, uh, 580 metres before it was eaten. Now normally, we've, I'm not an expert, but normally uh, what I've seen or read about killer whales is that uh, they mainly go for the liver in the great whites, and when they do hunt the great whites, they keep them to the surface and not let them um, uh, get down to, into the depths, because in that way, that's the way the great white could get away from the killer whale. So. Uh, which is really interesting. Another thing as well, uh, the, in the electronic tag uh, indicated that it had some type of stomach acid which was started to erode the device itself. So really, really interesting. So what could have uh, eaten a three meter great white shark? Now there is rumors that I have read on one article suggesting that uh, over the years there's uh, a report of a 10.5 meter shark that was lurking out there. Uh, I haven't seen any other information anywhere else to, to suggest that. So if I do find out any more of that, I will update this video uh, in the future and that. But uh, a 10.5 metre uh, shark would be around about 30 feet. So that's around about the same size of, the, size of those other stories I told about um, Brighton Island in New South Wales of a shark that size as well. So... What could be lurking out in the canyon, the Bru Br was it a Bruma, Burma or Bruma Bay Canyon in Western Australia? Was is it some type of super uh, shark swimming out there, about 30 feet long? Who knows? But uh, it's a fascinating uh, story. And uh, like I said, if you want to go check out the links down below, um, you can uh, watch a documentary on this, which goes for about 50 minutes. So what could have eaten a three metre great white shark out there in 2003? Some of this information when it came, when it was retrieved from the tag is really, really interesting. And they do say that the seven degrees, uh, 78 degrees Fahrenheit indicate that it was inside uh, another animal. So 
there you go all right that's it for this video guys make sure you drop a comment down below hit that like button share this video until next time i'll see you in the next video bye